Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. In this video, I'm going to go over how to solve a non-right triangle using both the law of sines and the law of cosines. So kind of the first thing to start with is labeling the triangle. Capital letter is always the measure of an angle. Lowercase letter, the length of a side opposite that angle. So in triangle ABC here, this would be side A, this would be side B, and this would be side C. So the law of cosines is A squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus two times the product, bc, cosine of a. The key there is you wanna make sure that this a, capital A, is opposite this lowercase a. So this is side, 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 and this is an angle. There are four variables there, three sides in a given angle, and I could use that equation to solve for either a side or an angle. So let's look at the first case. Um, and let's go over to my desk and I'll put the camera over my shoulder and we can look at that first. Measure the height. Measure the width from here to here. Laminated overnight on a CNC cut jig. Okay, so here we are at my desk. This is a law of cosines. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A. You could write this three different ways. You could have B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 these values are going to be the same as these. AC, cosine of the angle opposite this, cosine of B. Or finally, C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2, whatever those are. AB, cosine of the angle opposite this. So there are four variables in here. I could either plug in three sides and solve for an angle, or I could plug in two sides and an angle and solve for a third side. So Let's look at solving for an angle first. So let's say side A is equal to 5, side C is equal to 7, and side B is equal to 8. If I want to find angle A, so I'm looking for angle A here, I would use this first equation, and this is the unknown I'm looking for, A. So I would take A squared, 5 squared is equal to B squared, plus c squared minus 2 times whatever that is, whatever that is, cosine of a. So here I only have one equation, I mean one variable and one equation, so I need to isolate a. I'll do that on my calculator. I'm trying to isolate the variable a, so the way I'm going to do that, Actually, first thing I have to do is I have to go to degree mode, which I'm in. So once I'm in degree mode, I'll quit. And I'm going to start with going 5 squared equals. I'm going to subtract that value. Minus 8 squared. Minus 7 squared. So now I have this whole thing here is equal to negative 88. Is equal to negative 2 times 8 times 7 cosine of A. Still isolating A, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, 8, 7. So I'll do that over here too. And that's going to give me cosine of A is equal to this number. So I have negative 88, negative 88 divided by the quantity negative 2 times 8 times 7, closed quantity. So I have cosine of A is equal to 0.7857. And then to get A by itself, I take the inverse cosine of both sides. So the inverse cosine of the answer, and it gives me 38 degrees. So I'm able to solve for this angle at 38 degrees. So that's how you find an angle given three sides. Another scenario you could have, another non-right triangle scenario, is here, I'll start over here. So I have it the same triangle ABC. A, B, C, where side B is equal to 5, say. Side C is equal to 10. And I know this angle right here is 35 degrees. So I'm looking for side A. So I'm going to find the side opposite the given angle. So I'm going to use my first equation here. 
a squared. So in this case, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. So again, a squared is equal to b squared, 5 squared, plus c squared minus 2 times b times c cosine of a, 35 degrees. So a squared is equal to all of that. This is different. I'm not isolating my variable here. I'm just actually computing all this. So I'm going to go 5 squared plus 10 squared. And then I'm going to subtract the quantity 2 times 5 times 10 times cosine of 35 close quantity which will close up my 35 degrees and then that and that's going to be 43 so a squared equals 43 square root of both sides so square root of that value and that gives me 6.6 .6. so a is equal to 6.6 .6. so again that's the law of cosines you could use it if you have three sides in a triangle and you're looking for an angle looking for an angle or if you have a side an angle in a side and you're looking for a side looking for the third side there's also the law of signs and the law of signs you're going to use so the law of signs you're going to use when either you know the angle is obtuse or if you have two angles. So if you have angle side angle, you could use the law of sines to find another angle and another side. So you use the law of cosines here and the law of sines in this case right here. The law of sines is sine of any angle over the side opposite it is equal to the sine of any other angle over the side opposite it or you could have sine of C over the side opposite it is equal to sine of A over A. So uh, let me reiterate, it's really important that your notation's right. Capital letter for the measure of an angle, lowercase letter for the length of a side opposite that angle, and then with the law of sine, sine of any angle over the side opposite it is equal to sine of any other angle over the side opposite it. So let's look at another non-right triangle. Say this one right here draw an obtuse triangle. So we'll still label it A, B, C. Let's say I have this as 100 degrees and this is 20 degrees and this is a side of 5 and I want to find side C right there. So I'm going to use the law of sines and say the sine of 100 degrees over the side opposite it is equal to the sine of 20 over the side opposite it. But I don't have the side opposite it. So I do know all three angles add up to 180. So 100 plus 20 plus 60 equals 180. So then I'm going to have sine of 60 over the side opposite it is equal to sine of 100 over the side opposite it. So now I have one ratio equal to another proportion. So I'm going to just cross multiply again in degree mode. I have sine of 100 times 5. So sine of 100 times 5 is 4.9 is equal to sine of 60 times C. Sine of 60 times C. I'm going to divide both sides by the sine of 60. And I'm going to get C is equal to 5.7. So this side right here would be 5.7. So that's using the law of sines to find the measure of another angle. You do have to be careful. There is an ambiguous case. I'll put that in a different video. Um, that you're not going to use side-side angle to solve because that's not a definitive triangle. 
So try and remember this. If you have side, 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 you use the law of cosines. If you have side, angle, side, that angle's in between the sides, you use the law of cosines. If you have angle, side, angle, or an obtuse triangle, you use the law of sines. And that angle, side, angle refers to an angle, a side, and an angle in that order. So hopefully that helped solving non-right triangles. This is Jonathan at Colfax Math. Uh, if you like the video, hit like, um, hit subscribe. This is all things math, and thank you for watching.